Hello there, cherished ones. Um, we're halfway through day three of, uh, of the course. Um, just sat down, that's the Ganges you see in the background, and shortly you'll see some people um, that are doing water sports <laughs> screaming, which is a real contrast to the puja and sadhana, which also means uh, puja, um, uh, blessings and rituals that we're doing, but it's very funny. Um, so far we've had um, yoga in the morning, we've done the dipping in the Ganges, we did a Vedic fire ceremony, which is a purification process using fire. Um, and now we've just had a bit of yoga philosophy and theory um, and tantra philosophy and it was very interesting a debate around the menstrual cycle came up on an all women's course which I found out yesterday there are 17 of us from nine different countries which is really amazing actually yes. side note um, but ultimately in traditional tantra um, practice if a woman is on her period she's not allowed to participate in any um, ceremonies, not allowed to touch water, even hug people that are doing ceremony, as her energy is seen as um, going downwards, spiraling downwards, is a real sense of tiredness. And in spiritual practice, um, there's an emphasis on the energy going upwards. So it's advised in traditional tantric practice that women who are on the moon cycle or menstruating step away. Um, here on the course I've actually created a separate type of puja and, and even a separate space so when people are experiencing um, their, their cycle there is a sense of inclusivity rather than rejection but there was just quite a lively debate around how different communities perceive menstrual, um, the, the menstrual cycle um, and, you know, where did this idea come from? And it's seen as a science, you know, women's energies are going down and with puja and prayer, you're trying to spiral energy up and that creates a conflict in the woman. Um, so, yeah, we've just started this interesting debate and I look forward to seeing how it um, unfolds. Um, but, yeah, it's something that's also quite a trigger for me um, growing up. Um, so, yeah, I'm really enjoying this experience to have space to discuss and so much wisdom and knowledge from the women here. Um, around such um, theories, ideas and practices. Um, yeah, I'm sure there's lots more to come. The big guru, the tantric guru is here. So we're gonna be doing ceremony over the next few days. And just as a side note, some people see the word or hear the word tantra and think, oh, it's sting, not being, you know, and sex and all this. So that's actually 5% of the tantra practice. And I'll go into more as to what tantra is um, in other short messages to you. Um, yeah, I, I would like to finish by hoping and wishing you all well um, and maybe an invitation to think about your triggers and why they might be there I mean mine certainly came up today with this idea of if you're a woman on your period you're dirty and I'm pure um, and a sense of awareness stepping away from that I think has served me rather than going straight into the attack um, so awareness about our triggers and, and how we can look at them in a more constructive open manner um, I guess is what I'm pondering at the moment and I invite you to share if you wish Lots of love um, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.